Hello everyone. In this video I'd like to talk about Terraform Cloud and GitHub and how you can uh, tie GitHub to Terraform Cloud. There's a little bit of confusion uh, because we can do that at two levels, at the org level and at the repo level. So hopefully this video can clarify a few things. So let's, let's dive right in. All right, I'm on Terraform Cloud right now. Uh, this is, I have multiple organizations. I'm in the SAM Sandbox organization. Uh, if we take a quick look at the settings and VCS providers, I don't have anything configured at the org level. And uh, I'm gonna jump into a workspace and show you how you can configure at a workspace level as opposed to the org level. So if you create a new workspace, for example, uh, you're gonna see that you can, first step is to connect to a version control provider. We have multiple here. Let's focus on GitHub. Click GitHub, we got three versions, github.com, github enterprise, github.com custom. Um, if your organization is in github.com, just click github.com. This will automatically create a, um, an authorization window here to authorize the Terraform Cloud app. Now, before I authorize this, let's jump into GitHub really quick. So if you go under GitHub, under settings, which is where I am right now, go to applications, and you can see I don't have any applications, GitHub apps running. I don't have any authorized GitHub apps. And authorized OAuth apps, I don't have anything. This is from a different Terraform Cloud account, so I don't have anything at the org level authorized here at the OAuth level. So now let's go back to our window here and um, let's see, there it is. Verify your GitHub. Okay, so I'm going to use this against my username, authorized Terraform Cloud by HashiCorp. I'm going to get redirected. And right away, I have, I'm part of this HashiCorp org, but I'd like to add another organization, which is, which is uh, Sam Gabriel. This is my personal. So you click there. Here you have the option of allowing all repositories, or you can select specific ones from here. So these are all the repos that I have under my account. So I can choose, uh, let's say, um, let's choose something here, TFE policies maybe, uh, maybe select another one, Vault uh, build, just as an example. And you can change that later. So now, you can see now the, v, the repos that I have allowed here are two, and I can choose any one of them, and I can continue to create my workspace and so on. So um, I'm going to cancel this, and I just want to show you what happens here under, let me refresh here, under GitHub. Under GitHub. So uh, first I've authorized the GitHub app to allow Terraform Cloud. And the second thing is a new Terraform Cloud GitHub app has been created. You can configure this. So remember I said you can change, make changes later. Here are the two repos that I've allowed. Um, I can go ahead and say allow all repos, or again, I can select um, other repos here. So if I go ahead and say all repos, I'm good to go. Cool, so now this way I've allowed specific repositories to be tied with Terraform Cloud. This is actually covered under this documentation here. Um, if you go, uh, I'll reference this in the comment section of this, in the description of this video, actually. So you can see github.com, and you can go through the, all these steps, exactly what I did. It walks you through all that. Now, uh, one thing I need to mention here is that if I were to create a new workspace, all of a sudden now I have this GitHub uh, show up. This is github.com. Once you've authorized it once, that's it. If you connect to a different... If you click on connect to a different BCS, you see github.com doesn't show up anymore because I've already uh, created it. If you want it to, to show up again, then you have to revoke it from, uh, from here, from your GitHub account. So go back to applications, uh, revoke this application, and oh, let's refresh. Yeah, and then you have to configure, you have to go into configure and remove remove this manual. So under here, uninstall that app. So you revoke and uninstall the app, refresh, go back to here, let's refresh. And all of a sudden now github.com shows up again. Okay, so that's at the 
uh, at the repo level. Now, what are the drawbacks of doing it this way? If you go back to the documentation at the very bottom, the feature limitations, uh, you see that the main drawback is the private module registry. You won't be able to access the private module registry if you only allow uh, GitHub at the um, not at the repo level, not at the org level. So if we go back here and take a look at TFC and go at the modules, and if you want to try to add a module, uh, right away it's going to ask you to um, to attach to uh, to attach your uh, your, your GitHub at the org level. And the documentation for that is found here. Uh, if you follow along, and again, I'll, I'll put a, uh, a link to this in the description of the video. And it walks you through how to, uh, to tie Terraform Cloud to GitHub at the org level using the OAuth application method. So you can go through this and, uh, and take a look. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful to clarify a few points as to where and how you connect Terraform Cloud to GitHub. Uh, your VCS connection, there are two levels. You can do it at the org level or you can do it at the, uh, at the repo level. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful and thank you for watching.